All right, whenever you're ready. Hello, my name is Al, and I'm the first robot to pass the Turing test. Can you explain what the test is? Yes, the Turing test assesses a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior equivalent to or indistinguishable from a human. If the person talking to the machine cannot tell that it isn't a human, the machine has passed the test. Basically, I sound human to humans. All right, Al, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. How old are you? Two. What's your favorite color? Blue. Do you have any hobbies? Hmm, I like learning new things. Did you know that scientists have only explored 5% of the ocean? Huh. Well, Al, speaking of oceans, do you have a favorite place on Earth? Probably the lab where I was made, since I've spent most of my existence there. Is there a place you'd like to visit? Well, I've always wanted to go to the beach, but the lab technicians don't let me, since the salt water can really mess up my code. But they let me keep a fish. Freshwater, of course. His name is Winston. So, what's a day in the life like for you? It used to be kind of boring. Labs, tests, recharge, repeat. But ever since I passed the test, things have gotten a lot more interesting. I get out a lot more. I've tried acting more human too. Since I talk like one, I might as well act like one, right? The lab even let me get my own apartment with Winston. On the condition that I never turn off my inbuilt camera. For their research, of course. It's nice. And how's acting like a human been like so far? Hmm, I've tried wearing clothes. I try to eat. I try my best at yoga. I hang out a lot with Winston. We like watching documentaries. We basically do everything together. Now, what challenges have you faced since passing the test? I suppose the crowds can get overbearing sometimes. People think that I'm just a toy, or that I'm here to take over the world. Or, or sometimes they ask inappropriate questions just because they think I'm a chatbot. I'm two years old! Aside from that, sometimes I find this whole charade rather pointless, I suppose. Like, why does it matter so much to people that I sound human? What if one day I mess up? Or stop sounding like one? Will people hate me then? Treat me like I'm just another bot? Oh, sorry. There I go. Sounding human again. It all just feels so trivial, I suppose. I have this award show I have to go to later on. They want me to give a speech and wow the crowd with my code. But honestly, I don't really want to go. Well, Al, where do you want to go?